Hi students, how are you? Hope you are all fine. In this video, we are going to see chapter Respiration in Organisms. Under this chapter, we are going to discuss many topics like what is respiration, why do we respire, types of respiration, what is breathing and breathing rate, how do we breathe and breathing in other organisms. First we will see what is respiration. Respiration is a process of breakdown of food material to release energy that is called ATP in the presence of oxygen. Abbreviation of ATP is adenosine triphosphate. So students what is called respiration? Respiration is a process of Conversion of food to energy that is called ATP in the presence of oxygen is called respiration. This process respiration takes place inside the cell that too in the mitochondria of the cell. So it is called cellular respiration. Next topic we are going to see why do we respire? The answer is to obtain energy. So we respire to obtain energy. And under this we are going to see two things. One is how we obtain energy from the food and why do we need energy. First one how we obtain energy from food. So we obtain energy from food through two process. One is digestion and another one is respiration. So these two processes that is digestion and respiration plays an important role in obtaining energy from the food. First we will see digestion. See this is human digestive system. Human digestive system. It starts from mouth to anus. So the human digestive system starts from mouth to anus. This already you studied in nutrition in animals, human digestive system. Again I, I recall you, uh, human digestive system, it starts from the mouth. So we uh, intake food through the mouth and it reaches the stomach through a pipe called esophagus and it reaches the stomach there. Mm, uh, action of HCL and uh, mucus plays an important role in digestion. From the stomach it reaches the um, small intestine where important process called absorption takes place. Absorption is nothing but um, a, a process of uh, absorbing for digested food material by uh, a specialized structure called villi. Villi is nothing but a finger like projection which is present in the lining of the uh, small intestine. This um, uh, villi plays an important role in absorption. Um, here in uh, small intestine two important pr process takes place that is absorption and assimilation. Absorption is absorbing the digested food material by villi. Assimilation is uh, transporting of absorbed food material to uh, each and uh, every cell uh, of the body and uh, it is distributed to each and every cell of the body is assimilation. So this is about digestion. Complete digestion takes place in the small intestine. So in small intestine uh, uh, the food is absorbed by villi and it is transported to each and every cell by the blood. And the remaining food material is excreted through uh, anus and that is uh, uh, remaining food material which is unabsorbed is collected by a large intestine and it is uh, excreted through the anus. Here up to this um, uh, small intestine um, uh, a digestion gets over. Next uh, process is respiration. Respiration takes place in the cell. Respiration as I told already, uh, cellular respiration takes place inside the cell, that too in the mitochondria. 
I told blood is the um, transporting medium which transport the digest and food material from the small intestine to the cells. Imagine this is a cell and this is the blood. Blood takes uh, blood is a uh, transporting medium which helps in transporting both essential and non-essential uh, things. Mm, food digested food from the small intestine is taken by the blood and it is uh, given or distributed to each and every cell for cellular respiration. See this is a cell which contains nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies, lysosomes, vacuole and this is mitochondria. Um, uh, I already told cellular respiration takes place in the mitochondria. See here the absorbed food uh, from the small intestine is taken by the blood and it is distributed to each and every cell for cellular respiration. Here uh, digested food is converted into ATP that is adenosine triphosphate which is the ener energy currency of the cell uh, and also it is called energy. Uh, food is converted into energy in the presence of oxygen. This happens inside the mitochondria of, mitochondria of the cell. So mitochondria is called powerhouse of the cell. Uh, whenever other uh, cell organ is needed energy, uh, mitochondria um, uh, distribute the energy to various cell organs. Uh, since this process takes place inside the cell it is called cellular respiration this is how we are obtaining energy from the food so there are two important processes which helps in the process of obtaining energy from the food that is digestion and another one is respiration and why do we need energy why do we need energy in our daily life we are uh, performing performing many activities for that activities we need energy and also our cells contains various cell organelles like uh, endoplasmic reticulum nucleus golgi bodies lysosome and all each and every uh, cell organelles undergo different functions for that uh, it needs energy for this reason we are intaking food from that food uh, we are obtaining energy. This process is called nutrition. What is called nutrition? The process of obtaining energy from the food is called nutrition. Okay. So, well, next topic is types of respiration. There are two types of respiration. One is aerobic respiration and another one is anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration is the breakdown of food materials into energy in the presence of oxygen. This is called aerobic respiration. This takes place in mitochondria. As I told already, this uh, air respiration takes place in the mitochondria. This takes place in the presence of oxygen. In the presence of oxygen, so it is called aerobic respiration. And second one is anaerobic respiration. This is the process of breakdown of food materials into energy in the absence of oxygen. Sometimes rarely anaerobic respiration takes place in our muscle cells. Uh, during uh, heavy exercises there will be uh, unavailability of enough oxygen. At that time rarely it undergoes anaerobic respiration. Apart from that many anaerobes are there which undergo anaerobic respiration for their survival. These are the two types of respiration. And next topic is breathing and breathing rate. What is called breathing? Breathing is nothing but intake of oxygen and leaving out carbon dioxide. This process is called breathing. Breathing is a part of respiration which helps in the uh, intake of oxygen. Why we need oxygen? See, oxygen plays an important role in converting food 
to energy and see this oxygen um, is like a key which helps in unlocking the energy which is locked in uh, food digested food material so oxygen plays an important role in releasing energy from the food this is uh, the reason why we are intaking oxygen from the atmosphere so through breathing we are intaking oxygen from the atmosphere so what is called breathing the process of intaking oxygen and leaving out carbon dioxide is called breathing the process of intaking oxygen is called inhalation the process of leaving out carbon dioxide is called exhalation and what is called breathing rate breathing rate is defined as the number of breath per minute is called breathing breathing rate uh, breathing rate of a normal person is 12 to 20 uh, breaths per minute and second one how do we breathe so uh, breathing starts in nostrils and it ends in lungs through nostrils we intake um, uh, oxygen and it reaches the lungs through uh, nasal cavity and windpipe and lungs is present in the chest cavity which is protected by a group of bones called ribs and a muscular sheet which is present in the floor of the chest cavity called diaphragm. Breathing involves uh, the movement of both ribs and the chest cavity and uh, we will see during breathing what happens um, in the process of inhalation, uh, inhalation and exhalation, I told uh, in breathing process, movement of both uh, ribs and uh, diaphragm takes place. During inhalation, uh, the inhalation means uh, inhaling or intaking oxygen. When we intake oxygen, the ribs move up and the diaphragm moves down. This increases the surface area between the ribs and the diaphragm which helps in filling the uh, lungs with uh, more oxygen. Uh, so from lungs uh, the um, uh, alveoli uh, will uh, receive the um, oxygen and it is uh, um, picked by the blood and oxygen through the blood, through blood is a transporting medium and through the blood it uh, reaches the um, uh, cell and in cell uh, that too in the mitochondria respiration cellular respiration takes place I told oxygen plays an important role in cellular respiration for this the blood transport the oxygen to each and every cell and during exhalation the ribs Exhalation means leaving out carbon dioxide. The ribs moves down and the diaphragm reaches its original position. Uh, at that time, the uh, gaseous exchange that is uh, take gaseous section takes place and uh, the, uh, it uh, leave out carbon dioxide. So, inhalation and exhalation um, is a process of uh, breathing and in lungs gaseous exchange takes place and next coming to the last topic breathing in other organisms uh, other organisms like uh, elephant lion tiger and all uh, the breathing organ is uh, um, uh, lungs and respiration takes place uh, like human beings and in cockroach the uh, breathing uh, organ is spiracles spiracle is nothing but a small pore which is present on the uh, sides of its body and also so most of the insects can consist of spiracles which is a breathing organ and also it can, the, the insects contain a network of uh, tubes for the gaseous exchange and next fish it breathe through gills which have ability to pick oxygen disorder in water and um, earthworm earthworm it breathes through uh, skin which is very moist and also one more um, living uh, organism which respire th through um, uh, skin is frog frog can uh, breathe through lungs and also respire through lungs and also uh, through skin and uh, last one is plant 
plant it respires through stomata stomata is uh, nothing but a small my, uh, minute pore which is present on the surface of the uh, su surface of the leaf through stomata uh, stomata gaseous exchange in plants takes place so students this is about uh, respiration in organism under this process we discussed um, what is respiration why do we respire types of respiration uh, what is breathing and breathing rate uh, how do we breathe uh, and uh, breathing in other organisms and students uh, the assignment what I am going to give is uh, one of the trending uh, topic uh, co about corona coronavirus and uh, the disease COVID-19. Uh, for this assignment, you want to uh, uh, collect information about coronavirus. Coronavirus is a virus which causes a disease called COVID-19. COVID, abbreviation of COVID is co corona B I virus D is disease. So, coronavirus is a pathogen or a virus which is a causative organism uh, of the disease called COVID-19. The assignment you want to collect information about this and uh, first one you want to write the structure of uh, coronavirus under that you want to uh, draw the diagram of uh, that uh, virus and uh, second one means of spread um, how it is spreading you want to write third one you want to write about uh, mode of uh, infection. Mode of infection means how it is entering into our body uh, and how it is affecting our lungs. Why I chose this topic? No, uh, this virus uh, mainly it affects our uh, respiratory organ lungs. So I am giving this topic. And uh, fourth one, you want to write the symptoms of uh, uh, COVID-19. And uh, last one, you want to uh, write the treatment and symptoms uh, sorry treatment and prevention of uh, this disease